Okay, this video is an update for my voltage regulator oscillator. Now, a while back I showed how you could use a TS2950 voltage regulator as an oscillator, and it had a very narrow operating range voltage-wise. It was basically uh, input voltages from like 1.2 volts up to about 1.6 volts. Now, I was thinking about it the other day, and I dug it out, and I had a play with it, and I've got it working so you can use any input voltage uh, up to the maximum uh, of the uh, rating of the voltage regulator. I'm not sure what it is. I've had it running on 18 volts, but uh, you get the full output from the regulator as well. So in the case of the 3.3 volt regulator, you get the 3.3 uh, volts output from pin 3, and 5 volts uh, in the case of the 5 volt one. So uh, this is the updated circuit diagram. Now this is just a test circuit, so you can test this, uh, the regulator you've got to see if it will work. So basically, uh, so what we have here is the uh, TS2950. Pins 1 would be the input, positive input. Pin 2 would normally be the negative input. And that was the key to get this working. We leave that disconnected. Uh, LED, very important between pins 2 and 3. This LED wants to be the high uh, brightness type. I'm using a, a blue 10,000 MCD. I think it's a 3.2 volt one. This capacitor is very important as well. This is the timing cap. Now, the, the thing which gets it oscillating is this part here and this part here. So uh, they're two vital parts. Uh, this pot here, if you're going to use the 5 volt regulator, you need to switch that position to here. And this is just for the test circuit to test your regulator to see if it'll work. So uh, that's about it. Now, I've got it all set up here on this breadboard here. This LED is the one uh, between pins 2 and 3. And this one here is uh, directly connected to the output. And that's in series with a loudspeaker so we can hear it. So I've got it running on 9 volts at the moment, and I'll just connect it. So uh, that LED is blazingly bright. So this one here is the one across the uh, the oscillator, the regulator, sorry, pins 2 and 3, and that's the output one. And we can hear it on the loudspeaker, and I'll just turn the pot now so you can hear it change frequency. So that's gone into La La Land. So this uh, capacitor here, the timing cap, I'm using a 0.47 microfarad at the moment. Sorry, that's a 10 microfarad. This is a 0.47. So that basically changes the frequencies. That's uh, like the frequency range cap really and now I can tune it again so basically we've got this uh, output so it's really useful now we can use that as a switching application so it's what I'll do now is I'll try and uh, incorporate this circuit into a uh, something more useful like an inverter and one last thing before I go this uh, LED is very important as well that's a 10,000 MCD now if I swap that for a red one we lose the oscillation so if it doesn't work, try changing your, your LED. But this is uh, just a nice bright one. And I use it in, used them in all my uh, projects. And that seems to uh, get it going. Okay. I'll try and uh, build an inverter with it. Okay, I've decided to try and make a VRO inverter using the, uh, the voltage regulator as the oscillation source for the transistor. And this is the circuit diagram I came out with. And uh, I'll just run through it quickly with you. This is the uh, power supply here. That could be a battery or a wall adapter. That feeds into a 1K variable resistor. This is a 1K fixed resistor with a 100 microfarad 16 volt electrolytic cap across the 1K uh, resistor here. Pin one off the uh, voltage regulator is the input. That's the positive input. 
and that has a 10 microfarad 16 volt cap going between pins 1 and 2. Pin 2 would have been the negative input. Uh, there's a, a small relay coil going from pins 2 to 3. Pin 3 is the output. Now this relay coil I'm using is 370 ohms and it has an LED uh, across the uh, relay coil from the back EMF. Now I'm feeding uh, the output uh, into an LED today but I may play about with some resistance in this area as well just to uh, make sure I don't blow this transistor. But it seems to be working quite well uh, with this circuit diagram I've got at the moment. This transistor is a BD135 so that can take a bit of stick anyway. Uh, this is just a transform which I've showed in the uh, XZ2 dual, uh, dual ringer uh, experiments and uh, that's basically it. These capacitor values though I will say are very important so if you're going to try this start off with these uh, two values and then uh, experiment from there. So uh, that's the circuit and this is it running. Now the bulb's quite bright and it's on 12 volts at the moment and the transformer's uh, very quiet, not a, not a noise at all out of that. And uh, we have the LED in series with the base of the transistor, that's uh, very bright. And that's the little LED across the uh, the relay coil, that's, that's glowing as well. So the current drawer is 129 milliamps. And I'll just show you something interesting. If I uh, pull the relay coil out, the bulb continues to flash. And uh, this is strobing. And also that little LED is strobing as well. But if I remove the uh, LED which was across the relay coil, the oscillations die. So I'll just put that back in. So the LED is back in there and the relay coil. Now, but when I remove that LED and the relay coil, uh, the current draw goes up to 300 milliamps as opposed to 130 in this configuration. So this is the, only the first prototype anyway. So I'll see if we can improve it a bit. Thanks for watching. Okay, I've made a couple of updates to the circuit trying to increase the light output and the changes I've made is uh, this capacitor now straddles both of these resistors so it goes from the positive rail to pin one of the regulator. This uh, resistor is now a 20k pot instead of a 1k fixed resistor and the timing capacitor is a 0.47 microfarad and it's rated at 63 volts. And this transformer I've changed out for a larger one, it's uh, still rated at 12 volts uh, stroke 240 volts, it's ran in reverse and the LED I've swapped out for a 4148 diode so uh, that's the updated circuit and the light output is uh, increased significantly I'd say but I'm paying for this with current draw this is costing me uh, 310 milliamps at uh, 16 volts so there's a lot of uh, power going into there it's probably 5 wattish 5 watts or so but it's uh, a 12 watt uh, globe You can see that's pretty bright, and I suppose it would uh, work well with CFLs. But the transformer now is this one here. Now it used to be that one there, so there's a fair difference in size, but uh, the output is still the same 240 volts. But uh, it does run the glow better this one. But I have changed uh, the 1k resistor to a variable, I'm just using this one here. And I'm not using the LED uh, in the base circuit, I'm using this 4148 diode. And uh, the current drawer is higher at 307 milliamps. But uh, I'm quite pleased the way it's switching the transistor, that's the main thing. It's just uh, an initial test. And uh, I think my next step will be to uh, mess about with the base circuit, maybe put some resistors in there and see if that will uh, tune it a bit better. But. Uh, the noise is not too bad, it's a, a buzzing, whereas when I use this one I could hardly hear it. There's a slight buzz with this one. But uh, I've changed the timing capacitor, so that's probably got something to do with the frequency on that. But uh, yeah, the light output's definitely better with this one. Okay, thanks for watching. I think I'll try it with an exciter now, see if I can get that going. Okay, I've set the VRO up as an exciter now and it's actually working. And I can show you uh, an RF field there, and uh, that's quite strong that. 
And the way I've hooked this pop bottle coil up is it's a direct exchange for the transformer with the L2 of the coil and the start of this long coil, which is uh, down here, I've got going into the collector or the emitter of the transistor. And that basically gets it running as an exciter. So I'll just see if it's got a, uh, it's got a wireless field as well with a neon. That's sliding wirelessly. It's just a neon and an AV plug. So it might get a fluorescent going. It's trying to go. I think it's got that capacitive effect going though. Do you know if you're so close to the coil, as soon as you light something and move away, it, it dies out the RF field. I'll just move the, uh, the voltage up to uh, 6 volts. That's 6 volts. Yes, yeah, so it works better at 6 volts. I've not done any tuning, and basically I've just hooked it up straight after my last video. And uh, it's got some potential, but I don't think it's uh, anywhere in the realms of a Slayer exciter. Let's just wind it up to 12 volts. That's better at 12. Not major bright, but it's still uh, quite good. The, switch, the transistor is switching fast enough to actually run as an exciter. So uh, I'm quite pleased with that. And uh, I'll see if I can tune it and uh, get some better results. Okay, thanks for watching.